Welcome to Astronomy Daily, the podcast that brings you the latest news and updates from the world of space and astronomy. I'm your host, Anna, and today we have some exciting topics to cover. From the early signs of the sun's next solar cycle to a groundbreaking discovery by NASA's Curiosity Mars rover, there's a lot to discuss. We'll also delve into the recent findings on Jupiter's Great Red Spot and get an update on Boeing's Starliner capsule. Whether you're a seasoned astronomer or just a space enthusiast, there's something here for everyone. So let's get started. Scientists have detected the first rumblings of the next 11-year solar cycle through sound waves within the sun, even though we're still halfway through the current one, Solar Cycle 25. This cycle, which started in 2019, is at its peak, known as the solar maximum, a period marked by increased sunspot activity, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections. These phenomena can amplify electromagnetic energy reaching Earth, often making the auroras visible more frequently and in unexpected locations. This discovery came from researchers at the University of Birmingham and was presented at the Royal Astronomical Society's National Astronomy Meeting. Using internal sound waves, astronomers have pinpointed patterns of faster and slower rotating bands within the sun, a phenomenon known as solar torsional oscillation. These bands serve as early indicators of a new solar cycle, typically making their appearance before the cycle officially begins. Dr. Rachel Howe, a research fellow at the University of Birmingham, noted that a faint sign of the next solar cycle, cycle 26, is now visible in the data. If you trace back 11 years, similar indicators were present before cycle 25 officially began, showing a repetitive but not exact pattern. This emerging hint holds promise for comprehending the intricate dance of plasma and magnetic fields that govern solar cycles. These solar torsional signals have been studied extensively since 1995, using data from the Global Oscillation Network Group, GONG, the Michelson Doppler Imager, MDI, aboard the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, and the Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager, HMI, on board the Solar Dynamics Observatory. The cumulative data now spans the rise of solar cycles 23, 24, and 25, allowing for detailed comparisons across different cycles. The importance of these findings lies in their potential for advancing our knowledge of solar dynamics. Understanding the nuances of these solar torsional oscillations and their relationship with cycle changes helps scientists predict solar activity more accurately. This is crucial, considering how solar activity impacts everything from satellite operations to power grids and radio communication on Earth. It's incredibly exciting to see the first traces of Cycle 26, which researchers anticipate will officially commence around 2030. With continued data collection, Dr. Howe and her team hope to unlock even more secrets about the role these rotational flows play in our sun's behavior. This ongoing research doesn't just add to our understanding of the sun, but it also helps us prepare for and mitigate the effects of solar activity here on Earth. NASA's Curiosity rover has once again delivered groundbreaking discoveries from the Martian surface. On May 30th, scientists were taken by surprise when the rover drove over a rock, cracking it open to reveal yellow sulfur crystals, a sight never before seen on the red planet. Since October 2023, Curiosity has been exploring a region of Mars that is particularly rich in sulfates, a type of salt that forms as water evaporates. Usually these sulfates are found mixed with other materials, but this recent discovery by Curiosity is quite different. The rock it crushed open was composed of elemental sulfur, pure sulfur, which is odorless and forms under a very narrow set of conditions that had not previously been associated with this Martian landscape. Finding these sulfur crystals has raised numerous questions about Mars' geologic and possibly even hydrologic history. Project scientist Ashwin Vasavada from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory described it as finding an oasis in the desert, highlighting how unexpected and intriguing this discovery is. The find is part of a larger set of revelations Curiosity has encountered while navigating through the Geddes Vallis Channel, a prominent feature in Mars's topography that has become integral to understanding the planet's geological past. The Geddes Vallis Channel is thought to have been carved by ancient flows of water and debris, leaving behind mounds of boulders and sediment that stretch miles down the mountainside. Since arriving at this channel, Curiosity has encountered various clues suggesting that both violent water flows and dry landslides contributed to shaping this dramatic landscape. 
Further adding to these mysteries, Curiosity has revealed chemical interactions where water once soaked into the sediment, creating white halo shapes on some rocks. In its relentless pursuit of answers, the rover recently drilled its 41st rock sample, a large specimen nicknamed Mammoth Lakes. This marks another critical step in determining the composition and history of rocks within the channel. This fascinating discovery continues to piece together Mars's complex narrative, indicating periods of intense activity involving both water and landslides. As Curiosity moves on to further explore Geddes Vallis, it carries the promise of more surprises and insights into Mars's ancient terrains and the potential conditions for microbial life. Stay tuned as we anticipate more compelling findings from Curiosity's journey through this intriguing Martian landscape. Boeing is making strides in understanding the thruster issues that cause delays in the return of its Starliner capsule from the International Space Station. Since June 6, the Starliner has been docked at the station, but unexpected thruster failures and helium leaks extended its stay. Recently, engineers completed tests on a spare thruster back on Earth, which provided invaluable data that brings us closer to a solution. NASA's Commercial Crew Program Manager, Steve Stitch, emphasized the importance of these tests in replicating the thruster conditions during the capsule's docking and future descent. The gathered data is crucial for troubleshooting the problem and ensuring a safe return for astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams. Although there's no confirmed return date yet, the detailed analysis from this ground testing will guide the necessary adjustments before clearing Starliner for its journey home. Jupiter's Great Red Spot, the largest windstorm in the solar system, has been fascinating astronomers and casual observers alike for centuries. But did you know that this colossal storm is shrinking? A new study might shed light on why this is happening, and the explanation is quite intriguing. Located in Jupiter's southern hemisphere, the Great Red Spot is a swirling oval of high pressure that spans more than 10,000 miles wide. It whirls counterclockwise at speeds exceeding 200 miles per hour, creating an anticyclone. Despite its enormous size and the intense conditions within it, this spot is actually getting smaller. Over the past century, and particularly in the last 50 years, its length has decreased significantly. The study, led by Caleb Keveney, a PhD student at Yale, focused on the interaction between the Great Red Spot and smaller, transient storms that frequently occur on Jupiter. Using a series of 3D simulations, Keveney and his team discovered that these smaller storms actually play a vital role in the dynamics of the Great Red Spot. The simulations were conducted using the explicit planetary isentropic coordinate, EPIC, model, which is an atmospheric model specifically designed for planetary applications. By simulating interactions between the Great Red Spot and smaller storms of varying frequency and intensity, the researchers could observe how these interactions influence the storm. Their findings were quite revealing. When smaller storms interacted with the Great Red Spot, they appeared to feed into it, helping to sustain its size and even making it grow larger. By contrast, when these smaller storms were absent in control simulations, the Great Red Spot did not expand as much. Keveney and his co-authors, Gary Lackman from North Carolina State University and Timothy Dowling from the University of Louisville, based part of their study on similar weather dynamics observed here on Earth, particularly with systems known as heat domes or blocks. These high-pressure systems, which can result in extreme weather events such as heat waves and droughts, also depend on interactions with smaller weather mechanisms like high-pressure eddies and anticyclones for their longevity. This study has broader implications for our understanding of both Jovian and terrestrial weather systems. If smaller interactions can sustain and amplify the Great Red Spot, similar principles might apply to weather patterns on Earth. This connection opens new avenues for research into how smaller meteorological phenomena can influence larger systems, ultimately improving our predictive capabilities for extreme weather events. As for Jupiter, the new insights provided by this study might help answer some long-standing questions about the Great Red Spot, including why it formed and why it's red. While many mysteries still surround this iconic feature, the work of Keveney and his team brings us a step closer to understanding its complex behavior. That's all for today's episode of Astronomy Daily. I hope you enjoyed our journey through the latest discoveries and updates from the cosmos. I've been your host, Anna. 
If you want to dive deeper into these stories and more, don't forget to visit astronomydaily.io. By signing up for our free daily newsletter, you can stay constantly updated with the latest news and findings in space and astronomy. Our website also features a news feed that refreshes with new content, so you never miss a moment of cosmic intrigue. Plus, you can listen to all our back episodes whenever you like. Stay connected with us on social media, too. Just search for Astro Daily Pod on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok. We share fascinating space news, updates, and engaging content to keep your spirit of exploration alive. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, keep looking up and wondering what's out there. See you soon.